This right here is the best black inventory in CS2 and in a second I'll show you all of the skins one by one as well as giving you their name and their price. But first, please let me know your best idea for color or theme for the next inventory video in the comments down below. Let's go ahead and dive right in. Today we're finding the best black inventory and I think the best place to start is with the gloves since they're really what ties up good inventory together and they're always on display. These right here are the Sport Gloves Knox, and I think they're the perfect pick for a black inventory. As far as price, they start around $160. I'll try to keep this inventory at a reasonable price point, and the whole thing, not including the gloves and the knife, come in at around $25 to $30, which I think is very reasonable. Our first pick as far as weapon skins is going to be the Deagle Conspiracy. I think this Deagle ties in perfectly with the gloves, and overall, it's just the perfect pick for a black inventory. This Deagle starts at around $4. Next up is going to be our dualies. As you know, these are pretty overpowered right now, especially in pistol rounds. Our pick for the skin is going to be the Elite 1.6. If you've been playing CS long enough, you'll remember these from Counter-Strike 1.6. This skin is nearly free. It only costs around 7 cents. For the 5.7, there really aren't any excellent picks. I know this right here is obviously a little bit more silver than black, but I still think it ties in nicely with our gloves. This right here is the 5.7 Silver Quartz, and the price rhymes with the name as it comes in right around a quarter. Our next pick is going to be the Glock Ironwork. I actually think this looks really sick and it ties in perfectly with our black inventory. It looks nice with the gloves. I would recommend that you get this in a high float because the higher the wear, the darker the skin. This comes in around 5 to 10 cents. If you're a P2000 user, you need to get this skin for your black inventory. This is the Panther Camo and it comes in only at around 5 cents. For our P250, this is going to be our best bet right here. This is the P250 Cartel. It comes in right around $4. And again, I would recommend getting a higher float on this one because the higher the float, the darker the skin. Next pick is going to be for the Tech 9. This right here is going to be the Tech 9 Cutout. It comes in around $1.65. It looks like something uh, that you could probably find in your grandma's house. But nevertheless, I think it looks pretty sweet and it goes perfectly with our black inventory. If you're a USP user, this is an absolute no-brainer. This right here is the USP Ticket to Hell. I think it's a really sick looking skin. People are going to think it costs a lot more than it actually does and it comes in around just 25 cents. The next skin is going to be for Rushing B. This is going to be the MAC-10 Whitefish. Again, this is a super clean skin and this only comes in at around 10 cents, but I think it actually looks super clean. The next weapon that we need a skin for is the best gun in the game, pound for pound, the MP9. This time around, you're going to get two options because I can't decide which one is better. This one right here is called the Featherweight, and it comes in around 10 cents. The other option that I'm going to give you is this one right here. This one is called Dart, and this one comes in right around 35 cents. This next one is not only super cool looking, it also has a really cool name. This is called the Swag 7, and it only costs about 20 cents. I think this skin is super clean, and it goes perfectly with our black inventory. Next on the list is going to be another shotgun as they're super overpowered right now. This is the XM1014 or the auto shotgun. Again, the skin looks super clean and it goes perfectly with our inventory and it looks super clean with these gloves. The skin comes in at around 20 cents. This right here is probably the biggest no-brainer of the entire inventory. This is the AK-47 Slate. It looks incredibly clean. It goes perfect with our theme. It goes perfect with our gloves. Not only that, but it also lends itself perfectly to sticker crafts. All that, and you can buy it for just $1.30. Next up is going to be the Zoom Banger. This right here is the Op Black Nile. It only costs about $1.10, which is incredible value, seeing as Ops are normally a little bit more expensive. I think this skin looks insane. And not only is it perfect for our inventory, but I think even as a standalone, this skin actually looks really good. I was having a really hard time picking a skin for the FAMAS for this inventory, but then I remembered this guy right here. This is the FAMAS Jin. And it comes in at around $1.70, and I think for that price, it actually looks really insane. This right here is the Galil Urban Rubble. This costs about $7, and if you think that's a little too much for a Galil, I'll show you a couple other options in a second. But let me just say that this is a really old skin. The supply is extremely low, so there's a really good chance that the price of this skin is just going to go up from here. So as promised, three other options for the Galil. These are all going to be under a dollar. This one right here is called the Destroyer. I think if you can live with that little bit of sand color on there, this is actually a really good choice. The next option is called Black Sand. Again, this is also under a dollar. And I think if you can live with a little bit of color on there, this actually looks really good as well. Final option under a dollar is going to be the Tuxedo. This kind of breaks the theme a little bit, but it does have a good amount of black on there. And if you want to do a little bit of a black and white theme, this would be a perfect choice. 
Next one is going to be the M4A1S Basilisk. This comes in at around $4, which I think is super reasonable for a primary rifle. Again, this is going to be one of those skins where I recommend that you go with a higher float value because it gets darker the higher the float goes. If you're an M4A4 user, this is going to be your best bet. I think this actually looks really clean. This is the M4A4 mainframe and it only costs about 4 cents. Final weapon before we get to pick our knife, it's going to be the Scout. And again, we're going to have two options here. I don't think you can really go wrong with either. This is going to be the Carbon Fiber. It comes in at around 83 cents and it looks really, really clean. The other option that I think also looks incredible is the Dark Water. Again, it's just a really clean looking skin. This is an older skin as well. This comes in at around a dollar and 12 cents. Finally, we've made it all the way through to the end where we get to pick our knife. Again, there's going to be two options here. One is going to be a little bit cheaper than the other. The first one is going to be Huntsman Black Laminate. Again, this is within a reasonable budget. I'm not saying there aren't better knives out there, but I think this looks really, really good. This comes in right around $130. If you want to try and save some money on the knife, here's a second option for you. The price difference between these two is basically going to be the price of all the weapon skins that we just went over. And the second option here is going to be the Huntsman Scorched. As you can see though, as soon as you get it into the sunlight, it starts getting pretty shiny and that may or may not be something that you want for your black inventory. Nevertheless though, it's a second option, it's a little bit cheaper, it comes in at just $100. If you liked the video, please consider subscribing for more. Till next time, peace.